Hey, what's going on guys? Rudalinol here, bringing you back with another Python tutorial. Now, in the last video, we took a look at the minimum function, or the min function, and that let us get the minimum value of a list, or an array, or that sort of thing. So today, I figured it makes more sense to check out the maximum function, and try and recreate that for ourselves, and that's obviously a lot similar to the minimum function. In fact, all it is is changing a comparison operator. So let's get idle started, and I'll show you what I mean. First of all, let's get idle. We can create a new Python shell here. Python program. File.python. You can save it as whatever you'd like, obviously. You don't need a shebang line if you're working on Windows, but I, being in Linux, do need one. We'll create a base class. We'll get a constructor going. Pass in the self keyword, as always. We'll pass something there for now, and then we'll test if this is the current script name is equal to main, because that's a good practice to get into. And now we can use root, which is a instance of our base object class. So let's define um, get maximum. Obviously we need some parameters here. We need self, and then we need the array. So, let's give it a go. We're going to want to go for each item in our array. This is going to be set up almost exactly the same as last time. If the item is equal to the first element in the array, remember we have to use zero to index the very beginning, we can set maximum to be the array. I'm sorry, the first index that we're looking at. If it's not, if, remember we could combine these else and that if statement with an elif statement, but I myself don't like those. Obviously if you want to use them, feel free. Else if, uh, let's see, the current item is greater than the maximum, the maximum can equal that item. And then when we're done looping, we can return the maximum number. So let's get back up to our constructor here, and let's see what we can do. Self.numbers, let's say, um, get a list going, and we can have, let's say, negative 2, negative 23, negative 1, 0, let's throw in a 100 somewhere in there, and maybe uh, 54, 53 anyway, negative 2 again, a negative number anyway, and then how about 900, 9,000, 9, maybe 32. 354. And then if we run our self dot actually we'll we'll want to print the output of what we get here. Self dot get maximum. And we can pass in self dot numbers and we should get nine thousand. And that's because it is the highest number here, and we've repeated and we've gone through this array that we just passed in, and we've looked for the maximum number by testing it for the first time and setting it to the first thing that we see. And if if we find anything greater than that, we will reset the maximum number to be that. And when we're done looping, we just display the one that we found, and we're all done. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was very simple and pretty similar to the last tutorial, but it is just a matter of changing your comparison operator. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.